death claimed everything we were. It flayed our society down to the bone. You promised an end to our suffering. If only we'd leave this place in search of her home. Welcome to another Who's That Indie? With a strategic, tactical or survival game straight to your face hole. Today's game is, of course, in search of a home. Yeah, so it's in search of a home. So you are allowed several ships to bring with you. It was originally five. Why have I got six now? And your goal is to keep your population high, your resources good, and find a home. Now, I'll be going through it. So you have so many people, as you can see. Apex recommends a freighter and a luxury aligner. So this is a luxury. We'll take this. We need a freighter. Military. Okay, we'll take the sodality. So each one has different things logged onto it. You can actually get more hard points, stuff like that. But each ship has got so much gear. And each group, because they are parts of groups, have different people running them. Like we've got the Thea Corps, the Silent of Jotham. So there's a high chance you could upset the faction by not listening to them. And that entire ship will just leave. Which is a problem when they have equipment and people you need. Like, if we go to this... Everything has a jump drive, has a reactor, so it actually has good power. This has a hangar, so it actually sends shuttles, and this has a long-range scanner, so I can scan other star systems. Without a scanner, you can't go to new sectors. It can also take all resources, you can see, and do long-range scans. So you need to have this stuff, like this is, can actually do a celebration. This can scan local objects. You need to scan local objects... To actually get resources. So this one has select local objects, local objects, and refined fuel. So you need a good mix. Recommends recommends uh, the so you scanner hanger. So hydroponics is needed because we need food. Mm, scuttle. I don't really want a scuttle. What's the game destroyed a ship? Long range scan. Let's go for this one. And this one has even more food. Okay, good. And there we go, we begin with our small fleet. 500 survivors, not much. There we go, there's my little fleet. This one had six. I only had five, yeah, because that one was telling me. So, a pause. No, 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 no. For now, so what you do is you click on your ships and you have them do certain things. Like this, I'd like to scan this. Scans two resources on a planet. That's pretty good, they've updated that. Just like to do a long range scan to find new places to go. Just like to scan, this only has one resource. I like to scan the asteroids. Because obviously I want to find things. I'd also like that one to also scan those asteroids because there's only three things there. So as you can see, this is your objective. You have to get your people to move to new areas. Now the morale goes down. Like full on goes down the longer you stay in one place. They're searching for a new home. So the longer you're there, the more upset your people are going to be because you're not moving on to find a new home. But you need resources. So, you have power. As you can see, you have powered and unpowered. Now you can have, obviously, more stuff than powered. It's a two power use, as you can see. There will be more. I have to upgrade the reactor. Now you can upgrade things. You can also repair things. Like you see, build and upgrade. But it's already doing something. We got to scan the object. Good. So this one cannot grab resources. You need ships that can grab resources. So I'll be needing something with a hanger. This collects all the resources off a planet that I've scanned. Let's scan again. Once the game scan all the bodies in one go. So you have one-off stuff you can use if you're having serious trouble. But of course, you don't really want to do that if... So you do this one as well. You don't really want to do that if it's early on. You want to do this more things as time goes by. Now I've got two long range scans going on good. The Capoeira is going to take all the resources from this. You can upgrade things when they're not doing stuff. You can build new stuff. You can obviously, like this one has an extra slot here so I can actually build something on the atonement. This one actually has a load of unpowered slots it can use. But obviously, to do anything else, there's a fuel factory, so I can actually refine fuel from gas. So we need to find gas for fuel, because fuels need to jump. Food's obviously needed by like organics. So we're doing 61 a day, but I have 19 from the hydroponics. So we may have to upgrade those, but I think that requires more power, which means I have to upgrade the reactor. 
But as you, that will require metal. So we need more metal. So yeah, there's a lot of things we can do. And I appear to only have one hangar ship now I'm looking around. That's a problem. Can you scan there? Yeah, I see. I appear to only have one hangar ship. That's actually a big issue. So you're going to get a hangar. Good. That's going to take a day, though. Again, the longer we're here, the more problems we're going to have. No more long-range scans, so you're now officially useless. We have a grand celebration to get people happy. Happy people are okay people. Yeah, we could afford to do that just now. Get people happy early on. Yeah, the status quo now has nothing to do. Now I can upgrade stuff. This will now do, like, you know, requires power too. But it does two resources at once. But I don't really have the power for it. So you have to choose what to upgrade and what to build. Obviously we need more power. Which means I probably should upgrade the reactor. We don't have the metal right now. Which means I'm going to have to use my only ship, which can do that, to grab all the metal. There we go, got more metal. So it's all about being good with your resources. Good with what you've got. It's very early access. There's obviously a lot more things to do still. Do that. You also do that as well. There we go. So I've grabbed all the resources there, but we only have one ship with a hangar, which is a problem. Until we get the atonement running. Now we can jump at any time, and we probably will do. Our population will drop down from people just dying, suicide, starvation. Just the casual stuff you find in space when you're looking for a new home. And it will also go up. I'm pretty sure that just went up. But you've got to keep people hopeful. The less hopeful they are, the more likely they are to have accidents and things like that. But our problem is, we only have... Okay, have you done that yet? Not just yet. But we don't want to be here too long, of course. Now, I can speed things up. Okay, we'll upgrade the reactor to give power output from 1 to 3. That gives me more power. See, we're stagnating, so we've been here too long. So we've gone from hopeful to content. Which is why you've got to keep an eye on these things. Which is why you're going to have to use your food to get people going. But food is hard to find, of course being in the depths of space, trying to find a new home. So you've got to keep an eye on absolutely everything. Now I've found two planets we can go to. Oops, go away. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, that's all scanned, that's all scanned, that's all scanned. Okay, nothing for you to do really. Okay, so you're useless right now. You're going to do nothing, as you can see. So you're going to extract from there. Got some organics on that planet, so you grab there. 18. I'd like to upgrade that, if I'm honest. Obviously, upgrading it makes it better. And you grab that. Active quests. Is there an active quest currently going? As you can see, you can just see your ships. You can see your planet. You can see your people. I see the theater is unfriendly, which is a problem, which means you're going to have to do whatever they say to make them like me, or they probably might leave. And the theater, if I remember correctly. Own my yeah science ship. It's just got my exploited resources. Actually, it's two days, so they're going to start getting upset with me soon. So grab the resources. We've just lost more people, as you can see, below five hundred. So it's all about time management. Stagnation. We've been here too long, and now we're going to jump. I need the metal. We're going to jump to here. Very rare star system. No habitability. Jump. And we've lost no ships so far. Oof. One for five, twelve. We've lost fourteen people. Can you do a deep scan? You scan none. Okay, four there. Was that going away for a second? Okay, and we're going to do full on full scan. Where is it? Where's that full scan? Once big game destroyed a ship. No, 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 no. Where is it? But no, once per, okay, once per game, scan all the bodies. Scan all the bodies. Some ships can also allow you to do stuff. So, failure malfunction. Raise morale to content. Theocore. Use the fuel factory. Okay. So, you're going to have to do that. Oh, uneasy. 
Building installation by Sodality. As you can see, missions are now coming in. But as you can see, my resources are also very, very low. Okay, so we find some fuel. That should make them happy. Okay. Failure mutinies. See this? If I fail this, they will mutiny. And that will take one of my few ships away. Okay, come on. You're going to start going for the... As you can see here, I can't actually hit that one because that's in the way. So I'm not quite sure what to do about this. Okay. okay I'm afraid you're going to have to just grab the resource from that and hope for the best. Best. Okay, I can't... Quick, give me the scan. Give me the scan. As you can see, it starts becoming quite difficult. Okay, they're content. They like me again. They've broad spectrums. Grab all the resources from that. Give me the organic. You grab the resources from that. Give me the metal. Okay, can we upgrade? Which one upgraded the reactor? Reactor level 2. Okay, you can have an upgrade. Give me... Food. Stagnation went down. Okay. So we need to refine the fuel for them to like me. Oh, it's very difficult. You're balancing and judging a lot of things at once. I'd like to be able to know how to get to that planet over there. Because as you can see, I keep doing that. I can't do anything with it. Scuttle. Scan. Uh, scan bodies. Refine more fuel. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, foods. <sighs> we've only lost one person so far, so that's good. But we're going to hit another... When we hit two days, we'll be in trouble. So, yeah, every day is a problem. Okay. Now we don't really have anything to do with long, that one. Okay. Exploit resources. Grab me. There. How do I get to that one? So there's a few early access issues. Because I literally... Cannot get to that one. And there's resource on it that we know of. Oh yeah, I got it. Good. Good, I wasn't allowed to keep on doing it. That's okay. If we can get one of those resources, I can have another banquet. Because we're going to need it, because we're going to go down again very, very soon. We need more fuel. Stagnation's got us uneasy, so people are going to start losing the will to live. Obviously, the jump drives would be good if we could upgrade those, but we can't. So, yeah, it's very, very much about balancing. And we're going to have to... We're going to, okay, the Sodality are going to hate us because we didn't build a new installation. It has no new hard points. This has a new hard point. Can't build anything here because I need more power. Upgrade the reactor. Okay, we've grabbed everything. Okay, we're gonna jump to this one. Resources are gonna follow us. Lost a couple more survivors. So as you can see, it's actually very difficult. It seems simple, and there's not much going on really. It's very basic graphics, very basic game. Find and gather metal. Oh, got 71 hours. Okay, I'm expecting metal to be on the Baron. But as you can see here, I don't have any way of scanning more resources at once. So I could do with more scans. a lot going on right now. A lot going on. And even though there's not really much going on, there's a lot going on. There's a very high chance, like I did, you'll lose multiple times because people will run. Or people will escape, stuff like that. So, the Synod will like me because we're scanning a barren planet. Hopefully we find metal. You're going to... Hmm. The Kapoya is a flagship, which is the Synod. Okay, scan metal. Grab the metal. Good. Give me a scan. There. You give me a scan. There. 
But yeah, it's all about using resources. There's not much really going on. It could almost be a spreadsheet kind of game. But it exists. And that's how it goes. There is a... It does exist. Okay. Scan the metal. Atonement. Go gather the resources there. And yeah, we'll carry on going and see how things are. But yeah, it's difficult. Very difficult. So I've gathered the metal. They don't like... They don't hate me anymore. But as you can see, they're indifferent. It pushes it up one rank, but we are still in serious trouble of them just leaving. Just straight up leaving. Because we don't have much food. We're losing 30 a day, which isn't too much, but we are still losing it. Which is a problem. Like a major one. So like I say, you are probably going to lose very quickly. Okay, give me... Scan that one. Give me another scan. Foreign fish. They can grab all the resources straight away. You don't need to, you know, wait, as it were. But the problem with that is... Um, you only grab what you scan. So you don't just grab any random stuff. There is a ship which has the ability to grab... Everything. But you will suffer massive losses doing so. Because obviously you're just randomly going into a dangerous and hostile world. So, yeah. But yeah, we're getting there. We do need to start doing a happy thing very soon. Because we're going to run out of resources. But we need more food for that. Oh. Okay. Grabbed all of there. Start scanning the big one. Like I said, the longer you're here, the more unhappiness you get. And you need to do the missions of the locals, because otherwise you're in serious trouble. Do that. Uh, you need to exploit. You need to make them happy, because people are getting worried. We've just lost a lot of people. A lot of people have just died from unhappiness. Oof. Okay, we're in trouble now. Okay, it starts really getting problematic. We have to jump soon. Next hit's going to be a big one. Okay. Uh, let's finish your Magnus Opus history of the Starfarers. So we can do it for food. We need more morale. But yeah, as you can see, every single choice you do matters immensely. Which is a difficult one. Let's go to... That one. Have I been this one? Oh. My people are worried. Uh, straight up. Uh, what's this? Two. Scan that. Get me some metal. Deep scan. Do that. Uh, deep scan. Grab that. Okay. As you can see, we are losing. So they want me to upgrade something. That would be good if we had... Oh, we've got plenty of metal. Okay, so which one has... Okay, you can be upgraded again. Do that. Get me more food. You celebrate. You grab the metal. You scan this planet. You also scan this planet. There we go. So there wasn't really much here. Which is a problem. Because obviously... We need resources. And people are still abandoning the ship because of unhappiness. So like I said, there isn't much to see. But there is a lot... A lot going on. Grab the metal. Oh, okay. We can upgrade the reactor of the main ship. Could get more stuff going on, I think. 
Uh, looks like we can only really have two powered things at once, though. Starvation. Oh, no, out of food. Okay, we're in, prob we're in trouble now. So our food, as you can see, we're losing people. So our hydroponics is almost at the right place. Not very good, because now our people aren't at the right place. They're dead. They left a ship behind. Ooh, no. Okay, this is a problem. This is a major problem. There's not enough resources left. Not enough resources left. There's a high chance we're just going to die here. And this is how the game goes for your first few attempts. You can try to figure it out. So find and gather gas. Fully scan a frozen planet. Fully scan everything. Ga find and gather metal. Oof. That's just how it is. I don't think we're going to do well here. Find and gather gas. There should be gas. There's, there's, no, there's a desert. Might be in the desert. But yeah, we're low on food significantly. We need uh, another 70 people to die, maybe? We don't have the food to make them happy anymore either. Okay, that was gas. Okay, grab this gas because we need it. We need to gather metal too. Is there metal on the planet? There was metal. Okay, gather the metal. That'll make those two happy. Okay, you need to scan the barren planet. Okay, good, 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 good. People are still going to be worried. And then Hopeless. Hopeless is coming next. That's going to be a big hit. Uh oh. Okay, we're still worried. Food's still low. That's fine. Have you been scanned? You've been scanned. You've been now fully scanned. Okay, we're doing okay. If you ignore everything. Is that everything scanned? Yeah, it is. Okay. Can you gather from there? Maybe I should upgrade that. I probably should. And you should grab... There, we're done. Okay, food's going up. I wouldn't say it's going up well, but it's going up. <clears throat> okay, so we need to upgrade you. Upgrade the power over here as well. We can make food. We can constantly keep on doing stuff. So you really do have to work on everything. Like I say, it's a simple game. But there's some serious time constraints going on. Which if you fail, you will lose. Like, before you even realise it. Ooh, ooh, I should stop doing that. Never. Never. As you can see, habitability is very hard to find. So we'll be out in the depths for quite a while. Grab the resources so we can leave. Oh, we're hopeless. People are going to abandon us now. Okay, jump to... I oh don't know, F? Losses from jumping. Three ships. Ooh. Wait, really? We've got no fuel! We ran out of fuel. I give a 10 metal, 10 gas. Yes. Assign this to the status quo request gas, tep spare. Okay. Okay, we should have the food resources now. Yes! Oof. As you can see, food and gas are now a major thing. Now, there isn't too much else going on, so I'm probably going to leave it here. You know what's happening now. Either way. I've been the Fallen Shogun, this has been another Who's That Indie, being strategic, tactical, survival game, straight to your face holes. Now, like I say, highly tactical. There's a lot of stuff going on, but there's not too much to look at. 
And again, it's early access, so maybe a lot of things will change. But either way, I thought I'd bring it to you, because, you know, I do indie games, I do old games. People know that if I'm showing you something, you either haven't seen it or I've stolen it off another YouTube channel. Either way, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Link is always down below. And I'll see you guys on the next Who's That Indie? Strategic Tactical Survival. Ciao for nows. Be awesome. Be epic. Bye-bye. <laughs>